Welcome back, friends. So this week we had a thousand things going on, but in this video, we're gonna focus on the highlight for the week, which was a meeting that we went to with nine realtors at once. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, so this week I followed up with some realtors and it's amazing how well these cutting board deliveries go, even when you think they've totally flopped. So for those of you that don't know, one of the things we do in our business to sell these closing gifts is just mailing a realtor a board just so they can see it on their own and see what it feels like to receive one. Then they'll know how their homeowners feel when they get one from their realtor. All we're doing is engraving their initial and their realtor information on the front and back of a cutting board and just mailing it to them right to their office. And it's so funny because some people will like call us back really quickly and say, I got the board, I love it. But some people we don't hear back from for weeks. And so we think something went terribly wrong, right? That's the first thing your brain's gonna go to. They didn't get it, they didn't like it, they don't wanna talk to us, they hate us, all sorts of stupid things. And then I'll call them to follow up, say, hey, did you get the board? And they say, yeah, I got it. I love it. I want to put it in order. I have the card right here. I took a video of it while I opened the box to post on Instagram. All that just goes to show, don't think that the worst is going to happen right away. Follow up so you're not stuck in your negative thoughts because a lot of times people are just slow or they simply forget, especially these realtors. They're so busy and that's where you come in and you can confirm and sometimes even close that sale. Guys, check out my new hat. Jenny hates it. I love it. I think it's great. And then bonus feature, turn it inside out. Give me this. Pretty Give me great. that. Pretty great, huh? All right, so another thing that we did this week is we started working on that living room set that Jenny sold a couple weeks ago. Um, finally got all the furniture design. You remember we live streamed it. So uh, if any of you caught that, that was a lot of fun. Um, subscribe if you want to catch stuff like that in the future. Make sure you hit that notification bell and it'll pop up on your phone when we're live streaming and you can come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, we just started working on that this week. But the most exciting thing that we did this week was we totally forgot that we had a meeting with a whole team of realtors. We had it on the calendar, but we kind of forgot about it. So we decided to take an evening to prepare. But what's important 
as we remembered it, <laughs> with plenty of time to prepare. So the goal of this meeting was to share a lot of data that we actually got from you guys. We asked for in a few YouTube videos, just you guys' feedback on closing gifts, like what closing gifts did you get? Did you like them? All of that data we compiled into a bunch of tables and spreadsheets and did all the nerdy work behind it and made some colorful, pretty pie charts. And that's what we put into the presentation. So the goal is to share with the realtors the best and worst ideas for closing gifts. And then at the end, we do a little 60 second sales pitch about our perfect closing gift. So you can go back in the comments of those videos if you wanna make your own graphs and charts, but the main three things we found were that one, people like getting closing gifts and they typically work. They call the realtor back. And second, people really like home use gifts. Those typically work the best. And also, closing gifts that are personalized seem to do really well too. All right, so we had our presentation ready to go and it, I don't know, it looked pretty good. Um, but one thing that we were a little bit worried about was presenting to a bunch of realtors. We've done a lot of public speaking. I mean, with our Air Force jobs, we were talking to people constantly. We've done a lot of like communicating at church and stuff like that, but those are two completely different styles of communicating. And we've never done like a formal corporate presentation before. So we had no idea how it was gonna go. So we just practiced what we thought would work. We were trying to put ourselves in the realtor's shoes and say what we would want to hear in their situation. Hi, I'm Jenny. And today we're gonna be talking to you about some feedback we got from homeowners. Very we love realtors. Realtors helped us get our first business up off the ground when we were stationed in North Dakota. So just a special place in our heart for you guys. And we just wanna help you guys succeed too. And we're gonna take a look at some of the categories of what types of gifts were given. 25% of the people that said they had a bad experience with the gift went out of their way to tell us that they threw it out. We just don't want you guys to have, spend good money on a closing gift for somebody and then have them throw it away. So after running through it a few times, we were feeling pretty confident. I don't, I don't know, did you feel confident? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we felt confident. And then it was time for the meeting. And like, when we got there, everybody was so friendly. They opened the door and welcomed us in. And everybody knew we were coming. Like they were expecting us. They were excited to hear us talk. They kind of knew a little bit about us because we didn't know like if they knew we were coming or not. And from the moment we walked in the door, we felt like we were family. We felt like we were supposed to be there. We didn't feel like some outside consultants that were just coming in to talk to them. Overall, it was just a really genuine experience. We found the people that we want to work with, which is great. We found them. We found the people that we've been looking for. It was Wonderful. And then we realized we were presenting at the very beginning of their meeting, the first ones going. So we were a little bit nervous, uh, but on the plus side, everybody was caffeinated. Everybody was ready to pay attention because we were the first ones there. Uh, we stumbled into, we're gonna do it, but we stumbled into a ton of information just on social media about what picture the realtor has hanging in his office, and I've gotten it twice. <laughs> so uh, there's some realtor that really loves this picture and it gives it to everybody and doesn't keep record of how many times he's nice. it. So. so then we started to present and everybody seemed pretty engaged with the material. Um, we tried not to take ourselves too seriously because there's nothing worse than a presentation from somebody who is way too passionate about whatever it is they're talking about. That's an instant way to lose your audience is if you care way too much. So we tried to keep a tone of like, hey, I understand we've all gotta be here on this meeting, but here's the important stuff that we found. If you can keep that tone, you can keep your audience's attention for much longer. You appear much more real. But everybody seemed to be engaged. They asked a ton of questions. Um, there's just a couple of things that we learned from this whole experience. Number one, people are only going to listen to about half the words that you say. And you gotta be ready to answer questions on stuff that you've already said before, but without sounding like condescending rude or like, just don't say, well, I already said that, it's this. Like, don't say that, just address their question as if you'd never heard of it before. So in our presentation, we mentioned that we do one day turnaround. When somebody puts in an order for one of these boards, it gets shipped the next business day. A couple people didn't believe us. Like one lady, she kept asking, she's like, hey, so how much notice do you guys need before we get the boards delivered? I was like, oh, one business day. She goes, yeah, but how much time do you need? And I was like, one business day. And she just like looked at me with a blank stare. It was kind of funny. Also, everybody's ears turned off as soon as we started passing that board around the room. Literally, I had a couple more things to say in the sales pitch, but our, our tip from a couple videos ago of getting your product in other people's hands just worked like magic. People could not think about anything else in the entire world other than the board in their hands. They had some pretty nice things to say about it too. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys, but we made a board specifically for this meeting. We engraved like sample realtor information on the back and it's just our template board to take to all meetings like this. So even though we've got a ton of stuff going on right now, which 
we'll share with you. There's only so much we can shove into one video, but we ended up pulling this off and we're really excited to do it again. So subscribe and follow along as we start our business here in the Houston area. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.